confidence, not arrogance or blessed circumstance, not basing our smiles on evidence that we are giving a great performance, not performers on a stage while readers turn the page to see just how central we are to all that God is doing, not misconstruing the plot that he's written for his spirit to move, and you've got nothing to prove. Paul reminds us in his word so that anyone who heard could not only hear but understand that God has a plan. And his plan is not about man doing what he can do, but instead me and you letting go of what we're able as he sets the table for a feast. And he's making bread with yeast. The fullness of his bounty will never cease, but only increase and outward spilling and so fulfilling. Yet filling as it is, his spirit he gives is only the first course, crashing the shores of our taste buds. Not bringing fulfillment, but stirring up a hunger like lightning and thunder, shaking the very foundations of our lives. And what we strive for is not to be undone, but for kingdom to come. And that's what Paul is telling not to shed this mortal dwelling, but to have this dwelling swallowed by all that is hallowed. And to know we're being followed by the next generation, building up a nation of kingdom citizens. And as it begins, we will make no sense to a world built up on false confidence. But we are confident. Not because of our giant biceps or keeping the precepts of religions made of rules. Not because we can use power tools or graduated from the best of schools. But because for the sake of the gospel we've become fools. Living by faith and not by sight. Exchanging wrong for right and darkness for light. And in our foolish living we are sourced in his spirit. For those who come near it, they've come near eternity. We live with certainty that the life we live as we love and forgive, it's only a sliver of what's coming. In the distance, we hear a drumming. As the moment comes nearer, as the images become clearer, as his image bearers clarify his desire, which is not to take us higher, but to bring his kingdom here. We have no fear. Jesus, come near. And even though we might like to go today, for the sake of others, we stay and say, Jesus. Not just in word, but in action. And as the kingdom movement gains traction, it becomes a force, not with us as its source, but in the spirit that was sent. And by that, we are confident.